Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to Renee Box Young. This is a platform where we simply discuss, critique, analyze, and talk about the sport of boxing in a level headed and mature fashion. You know how we do it here. Definitely subscribers since day one. Recent subscribers, I really appreciate each and every one of you. You all you are all amazing. I just, you know, I love it. You know, thank you so much for tuning into live sessions, commenting in the comment sections of the videos. Uh, tuning into the premieres, you know, of my videos in real time and chatting away. I just really appreciate you all collaborating on the live sessions, flash lives, etc., etc. Man, you guys are awesome. Uh, recent subscribers and uh, subscribers since day one, just everyone, you know, you guys are awesome. Um, I want to talk about this, man. This is, uh, I don't know what to say. I got several things to say, though. <laughs> I know it sounds perplexing and contradictory, right? Whatever. But, you know, it's just hard to, to receive all this stuff, you know, concerning Felix Verdejo and to, to, to see what's going on, developments. A couple of days, a couple days ago, um, I pushed a video talking about, you know, how authorities were looking for Felix Verdejo because it was very fresh, you know what I'm saying, in the tabloids or whatever, the situation with Felix Verdejo's case. Um, they were just simply looking for him to question him. And at that time, I explained and I used the... Uh, Reference obviously the article what have you boxingscene.com link in the description. You're gonna check it out We're gonna check it out right now and the developments concerning that uh, the case in the same, uh, you know, website, whatever um, But at that time I explained how you know the authorities were just simply looking for him to question him, you know, and he wanted uh, his attorney present you know To ex in order to accept the uh, interview the questioning the interrogation, whatever um and I left it at that. And at the end of that video, I explained something. I said something like, by the time I post this video, there's probably going to be another development. And sure sure enough, right, um, like the next day after I post that video, I think I premiered that video at night. It was late night. I don't remember what time it was. But next morning or what have you, or the next day, you know, uh, development. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. Um, first, I got to say this, man. Felix Verdejo, I really... Uh, it is this is just horrible all around um months ago months ago in the lead up to the fight of felix verdejo versus nakatani you know i spoke very well of him i spoke highly of him i really did you know because i like i liked i like what he sh shows in the ring as a boxer um i spoke highly of this kid man uh and this is just a shame i i can't find the words this is horrible, okay? Uh, so let's just get right to it, man. And this is just, I'll give more details concerning, you know, my analysis or whatever, right? My reaction, whatever, right? So let's get right to it, man. Boxingscene.com, link in the description, you already know. It says, I'll say, so Felix Verdejo surrenders to authorities now. See, charged with, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. He's charged with carjacking, kidnapping, killing of unborn child. Um... I mean, we got to get something straight here, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that article just says it minimally. I mean, he didn't just kill an unborn child, man. I mean, according to what he's being accused of, and he's turning himself in. So, ladies and gentlemen, that says it all. It says a lot, at least, okay? Didn't just kill the unborn child. I mean, killed the woman, too. The, the woman of, oh, my gosh, this is just, you know what I'm saying? This is horrible, okay? So, He's officially now in police custody. He's locked up. You know, a 27-year-old lightweight has surrendered to federal authorities Sunday evening in San Juan, Puerto Rico, following a, week, a weekend-long investigation into the disappearance of, and murder of Keishla Marlin Rodriguez Ortiz. Just to make it clear, just to clarify, I think I posted the video of the first, you know, uh, update, whatever, concerning this case. I think it was uh, on a Friday night or Saturday. I really don't even remember, man. But anyways, so yeah. So, uh, warrant, uh, you know, rest in peace to Keishla, rest in peace to the unborn, innocent, sh oh my gosh, this is just horrible. Uh, a warrant was issued for his arrest on charges of kidnapping resulting in death, carjacking resulting in death, and killing of an unborn child according to a criminal complaint filed Sunday. Okay, yada, 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 yeah. Okay, so the arrest comes on the heels of the body of the 27-year-old Rodriguez, Rodriguez being discovered Saturday afternoon in Laguna, San Jose. So they discovered the body in a laguna and a lagoon okay uh video evidence showed rodriguez's body being dumped oh my gosh video evidence showed rodriguez's body being dumped into the lagoon after having been beaten oh gosh dude uh, and drugged earlier thursday F 
following an alleged meeting with Verdejo and at least one other accomplice according to the arrest warrant. So we, we described that in the first video. I'll leave it at the end of this video so you can check it out so you can just follow up. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is horrible, man. So, so this lady, this young lady was beat. She was beaten, drugged. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, dude. And the first video, I mean, you, I explained the first part of it and stuff, like, but not these details, though. So Rodriguez was reportedly involved uh, in a years-long affair with Verdejo and one month into a pregnancy with it. So, so, you know, yeah, with the child. So, you know. Let's continue here. I'm not going to read it all because this is a lot of stuff, man, to read. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it says here... Um, Phone records suggest that Ferdejo contacted Rodriguez, the lady, right, on Thursday to arrange a meeting near her residence. Wow. According to the complaint, Ferdejo and the co cooperating witness drove in the boxer's black Dodge Durango SUV, which matches the description of the vehicle caught on the camera of a toll bridge near the lagoon where Rodriguez's body was discovered. Video surveillance depicts the vehicle, yeah, arriving at such times and stuff like that. So, um... During the meeting, the witness alleges, here we go, that Rodriguez entered Verdejo's car at point, at which point the boxer punched the victim in the face and she was injected with a syringe filled with substances purchased from a drug point in Lord, Lord, whatever place it is. Okay, Verdejo and the witness then restrained the victim's arms and feet with wire. This is just crazy. A block was tied to, this, to the victim. The witness then took the victim's keys. Uh, and board of the victims nearby okay so yeah this goes on and on man the unconscious you know once unconscious and drugged rodriguez was then allegedly transported by verdejo and his durango while the witness drove okay uh the victim's car so that's the that's the that's the uh carjacking right there uh you know charge and you know the the victim so they went to the to this bridge and the victim was removed from the vehicle and tossed off the side of the bridge and into the water um my gosh ladies and gentlemen yeah you can go ahead and read that that's a super long stuff i mean but that yet just goes into detail i don't want to read it anymore you know what i'm saying i read enough um this is this is you know it's it's ironic man how i was i was talking about this uh about a week and a half ago a couple weeks ago i've i've been talking about how you know, uh, in other cases, in other incidents, when it comes to sport of boxing or what have you, with people, I, I remember, I don't remember which live session it was, but I was talking about how we, we, you know what I'm saying, we don't know people 100, like, we, we say we know a person, but, like, behind closed doors, they can be somebody else, we project ourselves as other people, as nice people, or whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying, as just different people, you know, in the public eye. In the surface, we may project ourselves as uh, as one person, and behind closed doors and in private, we project ourselves as different people. I'm not talking about we're dual personality or, you know, we're like, you know, I don't know, man. I'm not saying that we're like, you know, schizophrenic people. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just, but what I'm trying to say here is, man, I, 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 I assume Nobody expected this from Felix Verdejo. I assume people around him as close friends because I remember explaining this in that live session I'm referring to that serial killers, for example, a lot of serial killers, man, when they get caught, it's a shock to the neighbors, to the world. Yeah, but to their neighbors and to those who, quote unquote, knew those serial killers, quote unquote, knew them neighbors that grew up around them or whatever, lived with them, around them for years. They're completely shocked and they don't believe, they can't believe that that person who's been taken to jail or whatever the heck, that they were serial killers. Because they were nice to their neighbors, you know, the serial killers came out in the morning and happy-go-lucky people, you know what I'm saying? Hello, how you doing, you know? And uh, just, 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 you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get to details, but most, a lot of cases where, you know, serial killers are, are arrested or what have you and, you know neighbors the first thing they say is he's such a nice person he was such a nice guy you know i never would imagine he always greeted us and he always you know he even washed my car and whatever right and you know 
Only God knows, man, what goes on in the mind and in the psyche of people. Felix Verdejo, man, I mean, I, I, I thought, I thought that after losing to Nakatani, he was going to come back and just push in his career. He had some personal things going on. I understand an affair, whatever. I don't get into those details with people, but as far as, you know, fighters I see, you know, that, 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 I, that I follow or what have you, um, that's his personal stuff, whatever. But to do something like this, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I want to focus on here. This is just, there are no words, man. What what was this guy thinking? This is some kind of stuff that organized crime does, man. You know, I don't want to get into those details. You know, I, I try to keep quiet on that kind of stuff. Now, I don't want to say why, but you know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff, what, what, what Felix Verdejo did and that, whatever the heck, his partner, whoever that is. I said in my first video concerning this case, may justice be served and i was very careful to say that you know to accuse or to to jump to conclusions concerning this and concerning felix verdejo because there were no developments the only the only news that was out there you know what i'm saying but when i posted that video i'll leave that video at the end of this video okay so you can check it out was that he was you know being called by authorities for questioning that's it that's it that's all that was out there. And that, you know, the the the, the victim, Rod Miss, Miss Rodriguez, was, you know, she disappeared. After the victim went to, you know, Verdejo, his home or what have you, and, and showed him that, you know, he is the dad of the unborn child, you know, pregnancy test. And, uh, you know, she disappeared after that. So that that's the only information that came out that was out. And I made a video on that, and I explained in that video. I'm not. I'm not gonna say. You know, that's a touchy subject. It's a tough, touchy topic, sensitive subject matter, where I'm not gonna accuse this guy yet. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just, you know. I'll, I'll, and I said in that video, may justice be served. Condolences to Miss Rodriguez's family. Condolences. You know, I hope she rests in peace. I, I, you know, may she rest in peace. Everything, you know, in the afterlife and stuff like that. The, the little innocent. Uh, unborn child i mean this is just you know what i'm saying but now that we see this development concerning these developments concerning you know mr you know verdejo turning himself in you know that says a lot right there and i'm assuming man this guy's gonna pay top-notch dollar you know uh for for lawyers or whatever to get the least sentence possible. I don't know how it is in Puerto Rico and the jail systems there. I don't know the prison system there. Th man, this guy got to get, you know. This is horrible, man. I mean, what was going on in the mind of this guy? You know, after Felix Verdejo, after losing to, to, to Nakatani, who knows what he was going through. But in his personal life, this comes from a while. You know, this goes way back. This is way before... You know, because according to the article, it says that, you know, a year-long affair or whatever. It's been going for a while. He's been seeing this this lady. And for him to do something like this, um, you know, it makes you think, what was going on in the mind of this guy? You know. It's just, dude, I mean, I, I, I try to be respectful as much as I can. You already know, ladies and gentlemen, how I do things, you know, how I speak. Um, horrible what he did. You know, what what he turned himself in. Um, I, I think he just deserves, you know, may justice be served, ladies and gentlemen. May justice be served. Uh, destroyed his life. Destroyed a, 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 a young lady, a baby, baby's life. And destroyed or has highly... I don't know the words affected the the, the families, uh, you know the the victims' family and 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 relatives in such a in such a way where it's not going to be erased. It's not going to be erased, man. I mean, we all have family members, and, and this is touchy stuff, ladies and gentlemen. This is touchy stuff. We all have family members. We all have you know people, loved ones who have passed away, may they all rest in peace. May they all rest in peace. And just imagine, ladies and gentlemen, you probably have a family member or a close one, I don't know, I don't know, a, a, you know, loved one, 
who has passed away in in a manner that's really bad like this i don't know or maybe not i hope not just imagine having a a, a loved one ladies and gentlemen who has passed away in such in this manner well, i can't find the words man felix verdejo man uh he has caused you know by doing this inexplicable damage obviously not only to the direct victims but to the indirect victims there are more victims here when it comes to cases like this there are more victims here it's the it's the victims families family family loved ones close friends etc etc and it's and it's ironic because i've been talking about cases like this recently on my channel former nfl player you check it out it's on my channel former NFL player going out, killing five people, commit suicide. And in that video, I talked about Aaron Hernandez, you know, a former Patriot, you know, murdering, you know, being accused of a couple a couple murders and, and, and beat in those cases, but being accused and sentenced for another case, murder case, and being sent to life, sentenced to life, commit suicide in prison. Junior Seau, many years ago, committing suicide. I mean... These, these people are human beings, man. And you would think that having a, a, a great careers like these guys, man, Felix Verdejo, Aaron Hernandez, you know, Junior Seau, you would think that having a, a prosperous career, having everything that uh, people covet and desire, or whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? You would think that them having all that, they would be content to a certain degree at least. But money doesn't make you happy, you know what I'm saying? Money isn't the the, 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 the solution to everything. There are things that are deeper in, in, in a person's psyche and heart, man, that, 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 you know, money can't solve there. And Felix Verdejo, he had a promising career. Maybe he had, didn't have the best record, whatever. But he had a, a, a future, a great future in the sport of boxing. To do something like this, man, this is just horrible it's detesting it's it's uh i hope justice is served and i don't know what else to say man i just don't know what else to say i don't want to be repeating myself here go ahead and comment in the comment section of the of this video those who are premiering i appreciate you all man all love that you guys support you know show show the support you show sometimes i'm just left with no words man this is just Thank you guys so much, man, for tuning in. Renee Box Young, man. Uh, if there are any new listeners, go ahead and like, subscribe, share. It doesn't cost you anything, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hit the notification bell so you can know when I do premieres like this and when I uh, go live, flash lives. You guys are just awesome, the community. May justice be served, man. Peace out, family. I'm not a Nazi, Nazi,